that if she goes with you, she doesn't need to, to worry about you being weird or creepy or being in an awkward situation, etc. So when you have a wing girl with you, that is a huge asset because it's gonna really just blast away most of her objections. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I wanna to talk about the topic of how to get and use a wing girl, okay, otherwise known in old school game, as a pivot. Okay, now Mystery, who I respect the most in the game, okay, Eric von Markovic, he said that a female wing or pivot is better and stronger than even a really solid male wingman, okay? What is the reason for that? First of all, a lot of objections to going home with you or to giving the phone number or to even making out with you, et cetera, et cetera. The girl needs to vet your value, make sure that you're high enough value, that you're cool enough, et cetera, and also that you're safe, that if she goes with you, she doesn't need to, to worry about you being weird or creepy or being in an awkward situation, et cetera. So when you have a wing girl with you, that is a huge asset because it's gonna really just blast away most of her objections. You bypass the other girl's value approval circuitry because these other girls have approved of you. Okay, it demonstrates the principle of pre-selection because these other girls presumably are attractive and now other attractive girls have interest in you and so it makes them be more interested as well. They've done studies with monkeys where basically they put a monkey by himself and, and the other chicks don't give a shit and then they put a female next to him and the other girls are very interested and they wanna, and they wanna meet that, that male monkey okay, that has a, a female next to him. Okay, so we're gonna go into how to get a wing girl and how to utilize one. Okay, before we continue, if you want to learn my whole system from A to Z and get to an advanced or lead level very, very fast, okay, it usually happens in two or three weeks where guys are regularly closing, getting five to 10 dates a week, but I have an eight-week program, jump on a free 30-minute call to learn the details of that and see if it's a good fit for you. Spots are limited, so don't delay there. Also, if you're not a subscriber, I'm putting out two new videos a day and YouTube Shorts press the subscribe button and notification bell to be alerted every time there are new videos. So uh, it's simply a matter of just asking girls that are already on rotation, girls that, are already, that you're already sleeping with regularly, that are part of your harem, so to speak, if they're bisexual, okay? If you find a bisexual girl on your harem, you can just float the idea by her. It would be fun to go out and try to meet some girls together, okay? So you find out she's bisexual, let's try having a threesome sometime, and you can say, oh, it would be cool to just go out and flirt with some girls at the club, okay? You just make clear boundaries. <clears throat> You're not gonna be trying to talk to other guys, okay? This is just to pick up girls. And, you know, I, I talk about in other videos, in the threesome videos, how you're going to typically have the girl open. She's gonna have higher compliance. A recap there is you're gonna have your girl that you go out with walk up to the girl, usually tell her she's pretty or sexy, some sort of direct thing, showing that she's interested in being more than friends. And then they just flirt a little bit, talk a little bit, build rapport. And then I usually have my girl bring the girl to the dance floor. And then when they're dancing close, they start making out. At which point I come in and I say, hey, me and my girl think you're really sexy. Now you're already in because she approves of your girl. And it, like I said in the beginning of the video, it bypasses her value approval circuitry and her, her you know, need to make sure you're safe and this and that, okay? So you're already just in, you bypass all these things and it's pretty easy to pull from that point, okay? You're gonna suggest, oh, I live close by, we should all go hang out. So you deal with the logistics and the minimal objections that come up, okay? But you also have this wing woman who's a good asset to do basic objection handling as well. So you can teach her how to deal with, I can't leave my friends, I have to be up early, how do I know I can trust you guys, how will I get home, et cetera, et cetera. There's 14 major objections. I talk about in full detail with the optimized responses. That's in my Occam's Razor product with the link in the description. Or as part of my eight week mentorship, you can jump on a free 30 minute call for that as well. Okay. So the big benefit of utilizing the female wing, as I stated, is it's going to, you're going to have higher levels of compliance. You're going to be able to pull a little bit easier. Um, the girls are going to approve of you very quickly because you already have a girl. Plus, worst case scenario, if you don't end up pulling any other girls, you still have this girl that you went out with. So you have like an insurance policy, so to speak. Okay, when I go out with multiple girls from the house, if we don't end up taking girls home, we still end up having a threesome or foursome anyways. Okay, so, so you know, you, you can build that in. So now it's just like icing on the cake, a potential fun situation for all you guys, but you can still go home and have fun together. Okay, but it's simply a matter of just 
Number one, determining if she's bisexual. Number two, just getting her turned on to the idea of trying it out. Okay, if she's like, oh no, that's a little weird. You can just get her like, oh, well, let's, just, let's just go try it and you know, we'll just see if you like it or not, this or that. And you, you don't make it too much pressure when you're out. It's not like it has to be like hardcore, like, okay, approach that girl, approach that girl, approach that girl. It's better to just kind of like dip your feet in the pool, so to speak, get her a little bit warmed up to it. Okay, you know, let's just enjoy our night, but if we see an attractive girl, maybe we can talk to her. And then you just get her comfortable with doing some cold approaches, which is gonna be probably the first ones she's ever done in terms of walking up to a female stranger and flirting and this and that, okay? And if she's too afraid to go in, you can always approach first and have her come in after and say, oh hey, like I'm with him, what's up, blah, blah, blah. Not, to, not so that she's cock blocking you, but then she can tell the girl, oh, you're really pretty, this and that. You'd be surprised how receptive and, and how on things get when you have a girl go up to another girl, okay, versus like a guy. When a guy comes up, they're like, whoa, whoa, because they're getting approached all the time. They want to make sure you're high value enough and cool enough to talk to and not a creep or weirdo. But when a girl rolls up or she sees you with a girl, then all of a sudden that all dissipates and, and you can proceed um, you know, dealing with the logistics and objection answers. So that's how you should do it. Don't be afraid to ask the girls to try this out. But first of all, you need to build a rotation, okay, so that you have options to ask if they're bisexual. You're only seeing, first of all, you have no rotation. You have no girls to ask if they're bisexual. So you need to build that first, okay? Full details of that are in my products and mentorship. You can jump on a free 30 minute call. Also, do not forget to subscribe. If you are not yet a subscriber, press the notification bell for new videos every single day, okay? I'm gonna link at the end of the video in the end screen a threesome blueprint, so that will show you once you do have a bisexual wing woman, how to pick up girls from cold approach and from online dating, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Leave comments about new video ideas that you have, and I will see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.